Hey friends and welcome to another Handyman Clarence video here on our channel. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the family. We would love to have you. To all my returning subscribers, I know you can't wait to see the finished project from removing our fireplace and turning the small space into an office nook for my husband's den. In the last video, we removed all the termite wood and now we are hanging up drywall. Also, I'll be giving you guys my helpful and honest tips throughout the video. Let's Let's jump into it. Starting off with tip number one, hire a professional. This is a disclaimer, we are not professionals, just frugal DIY homeowners who are addicted to Pinterest and HGTV. You have been warned. Tip number two, take your time. What helped me in applying mud was that I thought of it like it was concealer, you know, makeup. Start with a small amount and build up from there. Too much at once can make it look cakey and you want the mud to blend in seamlessly into the drywall. So blending is key.
Tip number three is going to get dusty. Dust and hair is okay. Your kids will think that you're a fairy dust mother or your husband will mistake you for having gray hair. Either one of those will require a smack in the face, so choose your pick. Tip number four, sanding is boring. Just make your husband do this part, like seriously. If I wasn't afraid that my three-year-old would try to sniff the dust and convince everyone that she was Santa Claus, I would have definitely made her do it. Nonetheless, just go ahead and prepare to have the Icy Hot ready to go tonight because your shoulders are going to be burning. This concludes our video on hanging drywall. The office space is coming together so well. It's hard to believe that a fireplace used to be there. In the next video, I will be installing the floors to continue the existing flooring because I was too stubborn to do like a transition. So we will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.